We are rolling. Hi, everybody. Hello. Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. This week, I have a special guest with me. Thanks to the coronavirus, <laughs> all of us are working from home, which I do anyway. Um, <laughs> but now we have our kids at home as well. So this is my son, Rory. Yeah, my name's Rory. And this is my dad. He's amazing. <laughs> I didn't pay him to say that. Before we start, Ru, what do you tell us about your rig out? Because you've got, oh, yeah. you've got a little rig out. I love Happy-O. <laughs> Happy-O. Happy Happy and what is it you love about Happy-O? Is it the product or is it the logo? No, it's the logo. <laughs> do you even know what the product does? So we do it maps. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a, um, okay. I'm wrong. It's a digital workspace solution. But, I uh, totally said that. That's that's why that's why you're not you're not going to need to use that for probably another maybe ten years. So no. so what is it we're doing today? We well, are reviewing the Pixel Book. This and, is the Pixel Book. And why are you here to review the Pixel Book? Because I know you? more than him. Like, <laughs> he never uses it. He used some like Mac, like I don't know, some other computer. I have unimportant. I have a glorious MacBook Pro, mm, and glorious. when I got the Pixel Book, I thought that I would get to use it, but. He so you wrong. and mum basically, basically kidnapped it, didn't you? Yeah, more me, but yeah. 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 Mum does like it as well. I use it more. So before we kick into it, I'm going to run through the kind of tech spec, and we're going to be talking about the Pixel Book, but also the kind of differences between the Pixel Book or, or a Chromebook and a normal device as well. <laughs> so it is a four-in-one design. It has a seventh-generation Intel Core processor, 16 gigs of RAM. 512 gigabyte internal storage. It has a 12 inch screen. Do you want to open it there? Has a 12 point uh, three inch screen. Um, oh. And then I kind of want to go into the stuff that I love about it. So it um, it's super lightweight it's and super it has a big battery. Well, yeah. it's not actually that big, but like it lasts a long time. It has time. a small battery that lasts an extremely long time. It lasts and like it's 10 touch hours. screen. I totally knew that. Yeah. And um, we do love the touchscreen. Touchscreen is actually, okay. that's got to be one of the most so, beneficial things. And my dad says it has a really nice keyboard. No, it doesn't have a really nice keyboard. It has the best keyboard of Go away. What's this? Any, any, any laptop that I've ever used. Absolutely mm. love the keyboard. I've used more keyboards than him. No, oh, you haven't. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've used way more laptops over the years than you. So it's super lightweight. It has an all-day battery life. What else and is good about it? It's super power. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So these are the. Why don't you go through the four designs slower, so, slower, okay. slower? So basically, it can turn into like a tablet, um, iPad, yeah. yeah, tablet, iPad, whatever. Go away. And, and um, what else can you run on it as well as, so, as stuff in the browser? It has. Well, uh, this is. I'm just gonna put it like this, then it can stand. Yeah. So if you put like a keyboard like this, it can stand. Yeah. Which is amazing. And then you can do you can do the yeah. It'll turn back on. You can do this sort of design as well. So if it um, it turns back on for us. Yeah. Decided to go sleep, but that's I find that really handy for kind of watching videos and stuff like that. Really, I don't really watch videos. Um, I more play the videos instead of watching them. You prefer gaming on it. That's the thing. Yeah, that's so amazing about it. So basically, it. Well, if since we're browsing as guests, it's not there. But if we were like, just why don't you log into your account? Okay. Yeah. You won't see my password. It's going to be a secret. So one of the things we like about it is the fact that we can actually have multiple accounts. Yeah. Um, so Rory can have his account, mm -hmm. and so I can have my account, and Leslie can have hers. Yeah, and I can have like my school account as well. Yeah, your school account, your work account. So you use uh, you use G Suite in school as well, don't you? For, yeah. Yeah, for doing Google Docs and things like that. Um, it has a super fast boot up time, obviously, because it's a it's a Chromebook, and the touch screen is a is a really big thing for us. We, yeah. we really like well, that feature. For you. Um, so just talk about maybe some of the apps. The fact that there's so, kind of dual apps, so it's a so it's a tablet and it's a the fact a that it's a tablet. It can have like it can have um, where is it? Uh, the, the Play Store, yeah, yeah, the Play Store, and it can have like Spotify or Jam like Jamboard or show the guys the Jamboard. Jamboard's gonna. Oh yeah, yeah, Jamboard's amazing. Um, so I should have got the pen, actually, shouldn't I? Yes, but um, I don't really have as much Jamboards. Ew, is this making? So this is the Jamboard app. So again, because it's touchscreen, you can do stuff like uh, the Jamboard, where you can write on it, and you can share this with someone, and they can be in the Jam with you as this well. This is so. me drawing a car. I, I quite like that feature in the, <laughs> in the Jamboard. Well, it can do that, and it can actually, you can do the recognition. Can't yeah, it? how do you do that? Yeah. I don't know if we can do it on here though, because I think you might need a full Jamboard for that. Oh well. 
I'm not sure. I thought we did. Images. No, I think you need a you need a full Ooh, stickers. Book. I like stickers. So I just want to talk about the keyboard for a second. Okay, um, I'll X out of this. That's okay. Bang. So the keyboard. Um, I've been using the keyboard on my my Mac for quite a while, mm -hmm. and the keyboard on the Mac, which is which has been advertised as or, or been been spoken about online as not being that great, the the old butterfly um, keyboard that they have, and I find it really frustrating. I I just love this keyboard. Uh, it's mm, really I just nice love to it. it's really nice to type on, and it's really important for us adults a good keyboard. Yeah, for you adults, I'm not an adult. I'm a kid. So, stuff that we don't like about it. Well, there's one thing that I just came up with now. Yeah. So, like, is this a new thing you're adding in? Yeah. It's not a part of our list. No, it's not. Well, go on, what do you know? Well, I find it bad since, like, if I'm sitting on the couch, yeah, and I go to, like, turn it to him, yeah. this, so there's a button here, and if I, I would accidentally hit it, and then this would come out, and if I accidentally hold it, it will power off. Power off. So, so the power off button is a little bit oversensitive. Yes, it is. Yeah. Like what other stuff do we not like about it? I don't like the folder management on it. So the folder management is not great. I don't even know what that is. Um, <laughs> so for me, when I'm uploading videos and stuff like that, and um, the folder management has improved on Chrome OS, uh, but I think there still is a little bit of a ways to go. Um, <laughs> on that. Uh, you can't run full applications. So Windows, Mac, um, obviously could, can run full applications. So I can't do things like video editing on it. Yeah. Um, now. Online applications are obviously moving on and stuff like, like online editing of videos is improving and eventually it might reach a point where you could do things like that. Um, multiple accounts, when you've got multiple accounts that are yours and you're logging into them, there can be some limitations around that. Yeah, and that can be look at this. a little bit frustrating. Look how mental he is. Now, if this decides to sign out and it's not turning You're talking about the amount of accounts I have. One, two, three. <laughs> That's four. Four. I told four you. Accounts. Four. Four accounts. I, on and the other hand, only the, have two. That's just the ones I'm signed into there. But sometimes yeah, I need to sign there. into my, my three or four accounts. That's really important. Yeah, yeah, um, right. <laughs> and so, yeah, so so that's a little bit frustrating. Uh, two versions of the app. So, oh, yeah. I'm talking so about the two versions of the app. You could have, like, the, well, it's not with every app, but, like, I could go into the Play Store and, let's say, for example, download Spotify, yeah? Yeah. I could go into I go I could go into the Play Store and download Spotify, yeah. and then, well, the internet's not working. But then if I go you into can, you can just tell the guys you don't you don't yeah. need to. Don't but then say if I go into like Chrome, yeah, yeah, and I go to Spotify into Chrome and I download it on Chrome, then I have yeah. two, so I have two Spotify's. Yeah, and, and so that can be a little bit strange sometimes. Or like it? yeah, and it's the same it like games. It asks you which one do you want. Uh, yeah, it's like the same with games. Like if I play Roblox, like I have the app, and then I also yeah. have the Chrome one, and it's like. It, sometimes you're not sure which one you, you want to load. So the, the, yeah. the, the sort of multiple applications can be a little bit, could be a little bit confusing for people, couldn't they? Mm. Um, the keyboard, when you flip, when you flip the, and this was mentioned oh, yeah, in a couple weird. of other reviews. Oh, it's weird, it's weird. Yeah, when you, when you flip it into tablet mode, you still have the keyboard behind it, yeah. which is a little bit weird to kind you of get, get used like, to. You have to get used to it. Yeah, but I think once I get used to it, I just ignore it. Do you know what I mean? I know it's not, the keyboard turns off, so it doesn't do anything. But it is mm -hmm. still a little bit, a little bit uh, strange. Um, and then the last thing with the Pixel Book is obviously it is quite expensive. You know, it's essentially a, a nine hundred ninety-nine. Yeah, yes. essentially a thousand dollar, a thousand dollar laptop. Um, so a lot of people say, well, there's other devices that they could get. Like on them, other devices that they could get um, that that would maybe do more for them um, in terms of that price tag. So that's it. Any other stuff you wanted to say before we finish? Or there's one more thing. One more thing. So, okay, one more thing. This is like parental stuff you can get, and it's so annoying because I actually th no, this is a good it's point. Stupid. I know you don't like the parental stuff, but but the parents who are watching this might. So um, Google has something called Family Link, uh, and and I think th this in general is just basically around Chromebooks and the control that you can have with Chromebooks. So um, if you have a Chrome device, and if your your child has, which we're going to be doing a review of them afterwards, My phone. the the Pixel phones, or any Android phone. Um, then <laughs> you can basically control them. So from a business point of view, you can use uh, Chrome Enterprise to control it. And as a parent, you can use Family Link and you can uh, link up your child's account. And from your iPhone or from your Android phone, you can actually um, set controls and what they can see and what they can do on both the Chrome device and on the Pixel device. Yeah, so like the parents apps, will like that. All right, say bye to everybody. Thanks, guys. Adios. See you. Bye. We're gonna do